Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So in today's video I wanted to talk about Warren Buffett and how he bought 130 million ounces of silver. I mean it is fantastic stuff but to buy 130 million ounces, phew, crazy. So as a lot of you may already know Warren Buffett is one of the most successful investors of all time. He is just, yeah, very smart with his money. He's made some awesome plays. I mean, I think he's 92 now. So, yeah, he's obviously had a fantastic life with investing. He's made himself a lot of money. And his net worth is now over 100 billion. I think it's around like 112 billion or something like that. I mean, that's on paper. He's probably worth more than that. And that is some crazy money to be worth. I mean, you'd struggle to spend that sort of money in a lifetime. It's absolutely insane. But I think he is absolutely fantastic. I mean, what a legend. I mean, people have mixed reviews about him, but to make that much money, you've got to be doing something right. So yeah, Warren Buffett, he has a company, which some of you guys may already know, called Berkshire Hathaway. I'm pretty sure I said that right, but yeah, if not, correct me down in the comments below. But yeah, so it was through his company, Berkshire Hathaway, back in, I mean, some people say it started in 1997 into 1998. But he bought it when it was like less than $10 an ounce. And it was through this company, Berkshire Hathaway, that he actually bought the silver. So he actually bought 129,710,000 ounces. So not quite 130 million, but... I think it's close enough. <laughs> I mean, for that amount of coins, yeah, absolutely just insane, unbelievable stuff. I mean, I'd love to have 130 million, let alone 130 million ounces of silver. That's just crazy. And he kind of seen this gap in the market where silver was being used for a lot, but the supply wasn't as high as the demand. So he kind of seen this kind of bubble and he said that there was around like a billion ounces that was minted of the silver bullion and a lot of it was taken already. It was getting quite low and it wasn't being minted fast enough to keep up with the demand. So that's why he just went in and scooped it all up for an absolute bargain and he managed to get it at a perfect time. So some people think that he had some kind of uh, insider information, but I mean, he's got a lot of money. He's He obviously knows what he's doing because you can't just make that sort of money without knowing a thing or two. So he's obviously a very smart man. He knows where to put his money. He sees gaps. He's got his own Warren Buffett style of investing and people actually use his techniques and methods to try and follow his path because obviously he's made so much that people just want a piece of it. <laughs> I mean, you can't really blame him. But yeah, so people kind of claimed that he had some sort of insider information and that's why he bought so much of it just kind of out of the blue when he doesn't normally invest in precious metals it's normally kind of stocks and etfs and things like that but yeah like i said the reason he bought it because it's not something he typically goes for he normally invests in like stocks and etfs and things like that but the reason he bought it essentially is because there was such a short supply and he believed that silver would eventually deplete in the bullion inventory and a new price would have to be established and he thought that the price change wouldn't be minor and well as you guys probably already know it definitely wasn't a minor change and he spent around i think it was a hundred thousand dollars maybe not exactly to the cent but it was around a hundred thousand dollars on silver and then when he sold it he actually sold it all in 2006 and I think it was around $21 billion of profit that he made, net profit, which is absolutely insane. I mean, what an eye to be able to see that, know it's coming, and pick it up. I mean, that's why so many people thought he kind of had some sort of manipulation involved with other people, some sort of backhand deals, but I don't think that's the case. I think he was just a smart man. He knew where to put his money at the right times, as he's proven for many of years now. So I think he was just doing what he does best <laughs> so he typically doesn't really buy precious metals as he doesn't see it as like a high value asset he believes that investors should only really invest in like useful purposeful things but to me silver is useful and purposeful i mean it's in our everyday use 
it's in our phones, it's in medical equipment, it's in cars, solar panels. I mean, the amount it's used is only going to increase. So, yeah, I, I kind of feel like it's still undervalued now and it's going to be worth a lot more in the future. I mean, I don't have any kind of price predictions, but I do believe it's very undervalued myself. And not only that, it's like if he didn't like precious metals, either way, he's still invested in it and still made a lot of money with it. So, I mean, it wasn't the worst decision, clearly. So I do think it's definitely worth it, in my own opinion. Obviously, I'm not a financial advisor, but I do think it's very undervalued. And not only that, he obviously doesn't like investing in it anymore, but he still watches the price. He still continued to track the price of silver, even after he sold it. So what would be the purpose in this? I, I just don't get why you track it if you're not interested in ever buying it. I'm just, yeah, I'm not really sure how that works. I mean, he's quite an old age now, so he may not buy it anymore, because obviously 92 years old. I mean, he may decide to buy some and pass it down, but probably not, because he's got so much money that pff, he doesn't really need to protect himself, because he's got so much that pff, nothing's really going to change. But it does make me think, like, has he kind of bought more? Like, in the background that we just don't know about? Maybe with some cash or something, like a lot of people do anyway. Nothing's confirmed, but no one really fully confirms what they're actually investing in, because people like to keep it quite private anyway. So, do we really know? I just feel like, if you didn't own it, why would you still track it? And a letter was actually wrote to Berkshire Hathaway shareholders, and it actually stated that Warren Buffett was pleased that he invested in silver. So you can't tell me it's a bad investment if one of the best investors of all time invested in it and was pleased he invested in it. I mean, yeah, the prices have risen a lot since he invested in it. But over time, it has kind of gone up. I mean, it has dips and things along the way, but it has gone up. I mean, recently it has gone down. But when you look at the grand scheme of it, it has risen. So... I still believe it is a fantastic way of keeping yourself protected and safe. And then if anything ever happened, at least you've got something valuable that's going to hold its value that drops. And like if inflation or anything creeps up, well, this is still going to be worth what you paid for it. Whereas the money you have would be worth less, whereas this wouldn't. So it does help hedge against inflation. So it is a really good buy, in my opinion. But I'm not sure if there will potentially be anything like what Warren Buffett did. I mean, the chances of turning $100,000 into $21 billion is just, yeah, that's some crazy figures. You'd have to spend a lot of money to be able to even get your hands on that much. And the supply, you'd struggle to buy that much now anyway. And as I said, I still believe it is undervalued because it's widely used in industrial uses. I mean, it's definitely not going anywhere anytime soon. I mean, gold is better for certain things, but obviously it's a lot more expensive. But a lot of mines have actually closed down with silver because they can't afford to keep going. So I feel like the price has to go up for them to be able to reopen and keep producing it at the level of demand. So, I mean, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. But yeah, I just do believe that it's very undervalued. So yeah, that is all for today. I just wanted to share that with you guys. I didn't actually realise he bought silver, let alone that much. I just went online, done some research into it and found out how much silver he bought and how much profit he made. And I was just shocked. I had to just share it with you guys just in case any of you guys didn't already know it yourselves. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on that. It'd be interesting to hear if you've heard anything else around this story as I did not know anything about this until I stumbled across it online on some article and thought, wait, what? And then done some further digging and phew, I was just mind blown to have that many ounces of silver. Phew, absolutely fantastic. I'd love that much silver. I don't want the video to go on too long so I could talk about it a bit more in depth. Maybe if you'd like me to talk about it a bit more in depth, let me know in the comments below because the story does go deeper. But yeah, let me know if you would like that. So yeah. Thank you very much for watching and we'll catch you guys on the next one.